Hey guys, this is poverty. And uh claim my little chunk of land. Gonna make a seaside uh little town dock here. Head up the hill, take a left, keep heading up the hill. Little shops, that's the plan. Now they haven't fixed one of the things that has bugged the shit out of me. Um it looks good, right? Uh yeah. Oh, it's back. Uh yeah. It, to me, it just strikes me as uh, cheap. I mean, if you look at the clouds on the left side, whoop, you, whoop, you. So it just should be the look of everything changes. Um, the stone and the sand, and it's up to your eyes to determine what it looks like. Um, but when you change the all this stuff, like the water changes. Why should it? Um, I just think that's just cheap. Something World of Warcraft does. Anyways, I actually am recording for a very specific reason. I wanted to tell a little bit about the history of what's going on with Landmark. Uh, apparently, Daybreak Game Company uh, purchased uh, Sony Online Entertainment for an undisclosed amount. Which means it's not SOE anymore. Sony Online Entertainment. Which, you know, uh, I think the way Hitler treated Jews was kinder than how Sony treated their customers. Uh, they didn't give a shit. It was just about a money grab. So I've never cared for Sony. Uh, Star Wars Galaxy was the emphasis of it. Um, people would uh, make a complaint. They weren't heard. So they rallied together to all show up at a city... Um, to show their protest, and uh, the admins uh, panicked because the server was going to crash because it couldn't handle that much. So they grabbed people and flung them to unknown locations. There's no ground. There's no buildings. You're basically in a skybox of your own, and uh, in that skybox, you couldn't do anything. You couldn't even kill yourself. So basically, your character was, uh, however, hundreds of thousands of hours these people work to uh, make their players Jedi sensitive uh, now they're stuck in the middle of nowhere and it, it just pissed off a lot of people um, the other thing is after a handful of years uh, people that were working diligently every spare hour they had they were working hard to get their character force sensitive um, because it's the first step to becoming a Jedi you have to be force sensitive and they'd walk into the city to see all these new players just jumping, flipping, and swinging their lightsabers. And it completely destroyed another group of people as well who uh, was passionate about it. Completely changed the game mechanics. And uh, it just destroyed the game. And they didn't care, they just did whatever. Um, it's their game. Uh, you're lucky just to be a player. And uh, of course you pay money. But uh, you better be lucky that you're allowed to even play after you pay. Um, this is standard Sony. Um, so Daybreak Games hopefully is going to have better customer relationship than a dictatorship. Um, and more respect for uh, the time, effort, and money people have put in into their game um, to keep it supported. So with that said, um, yeah, hopefully it's going to be a better... But... Uh, Many people have said that Landmark was going to be the next uh, Minecraft, like Minecraft 2.0. It's not. It's not. It's Landmark is strictly Landmark. Um, you're getting it more into a uh, realistic uh, sandbox building game. Um, but there's no skeletons, no zombies, no monsters that show up at night. Uh, there is a little bit of fighting uh, somewhere. I believe you have to go down into the dungeons deep down. Um, but on general, there's no worry about uh, build yourself a mud hut to start with and uh, hunker down during the sunset or uh, at night. So there's no sense of urgency, there's no challenge, it's just a raw sandbox, which is exactly what uh, Sony Online wanted because they were going for a, a builder set for Sony, for um, EverQuest Next, and they overhyped, they overhyped, they did the f uh, um, pre-selling their crap, 
and they never delivered. Um, they were just doing that to uh, do a money grab. Um, overhyped it to the point where they could not follow through with it. They couldn't raise enough money to follow through with it. Um, so they just gave up and sold everything to Daybreak Game Company. So they have uh, been working on it. It's officially released. Um, as I mentioned in my last recording, um, there's improvements. Uh, the mines don't look like uh, oily mud or plastic. Uh, so there's, there's better textures now. Uh, the, the controls are a lot better. You don't have to go hunting for your tools. Your tools are actually located in a nice location. This is getting ridiculous. Everything's going blue-purple. Oh, I want a red! Blue-purple? It's the end of the dinosaurs. It's modern life. End of dinosaurs. Uh, anyways. It needs work. I mean, it's a great start. Better than what I can do. Um, but I, I still have normal expectations for them. Uh, so, um, that's about it. So all the drama from Sony Online Entertainment should have been washed away. Uh, the company was bought back in February 2015. And that's it. So that's the main reason I was actually recording. Uh, talking about the uh, companies where it stands, and for ten bucks, eh, it's it's decent. Uh, apparently, there's many uh, microtransactions, uh, like buying a second uh, plot, uh, extended uh, site location time, and a few other things. So you can actually design things and uh, sell it on a market for actual money, but I'm not too sure how that works. It's something they they boasted about for a long time. So the, now their sandbox uh, development tool is now an official game separate. So the up, upside is, it sounds like Daybreak Games, instead of continuing with uh, EverQuest Next, they're going to be adding a, a new release for EverQuest 2. And EverQuest 2 was, eh, it was okay. Smoothed out, more generic than you can imagine, and... Um, I'm a crafter. I enjoy making things. So I just want to craft armor and weapons and hand it out to friends and like, have fun storming the castle! But no, it turned out that by the time I got to level, uh, I think it was 50, um, the crafting, uh, all the resources I found, I could only craft up to level 40. So I was literally 10 levels behind, so I could not even craft my own armor or swords and uh, all the stuff I needed for level 50 uh, material was found in level 60 zones. So it was strictly fighting and I kind of just gave in and threw, the, threw in the towel. So that's my little story about uh, EverQuest 2. EverQuest 1 was absolutely amazing. I loved it except I just didn't have the computer power for it. <laughs> and I just got sick of uh, you're going through a level 10 area and there's a level 65 five-story monster that moves at Mach 1 to stomp the life out of you. And uh, they find you even when you're inside of a building. Uh, they've got windows in the, on the building, but you can't look out those windows. And uh, the sun would set on you, and suddenly all you'd see is a skeleton kneecap the size of a frickin' SUV come through the wall and says you're returning to your, your uh, spawn point. And I'm just like, great. These monsters can find you inside a building and kill you, but you can't see them and you can't fight them. So, and higher the level, faster they move. So you got these 50 level skeletons that are moving <laughs> like a bullet and you can only slowly jog. I'm like, lovely! So, after a while of dying and losing uh, lots and lots of uh, XP, spending six hours leveling to lose everything and then some, I realized I could have been doing something better with my time. So that's the way... That's, uh, that's the way it went. So, uh, both, both of them were kind of meh. So hopefully this turns out to be better. New company, new visions, hopefully new ideas. Hopefully they fix this shit. So that's about it. I will catch you guys later. Thank you for watching.